high upon a mist-covered mountain, where the air was crisp and the winds whispered ancient secrets, lived a young girl named Alara, with her raven black hair and eyes that mirrored the depths of the night sky. She was a free spirit who roamed the wilds with a heart full of curiosity. One morning, as the first rays of the sun painted the sky in hues of orange and pink, Elara decided to venture higher up the mountain than ever before. Guided by her adventurous spirit, she followed a hidden path through thickets and over rocky crests. The air grew thinner and colder with every step, yet her determination never wavered. As the day progressed, Alara marveled at the breathtaking vistas before her. Snow-capped peaks stretched towards the heavens, and valleys lay cradled beneath blankets of mist. The world seemed so vast, and Alara felt small yet connected, as if the mountain whispered its secrets to her alone. But soon, the bright skies turned gray, and clouds converged ominously. Elara, who had lost track of time, realized she was far from home. Panic gripped her heart as she tried to retrace her steps, but the fog had obscured her path. And the once familiar landmarks were now shrouded in uncertainty. Hours turned into an endless day, and the sun began its descent. Elara's legs ached, her stomach rumbled, and fear gnawed at her. Night fell, and the mountain's temperature plummeted, sending shivers through her frail frame. Desperate and alone, she sought refuge within the shelter of a craggy overhang. Wrapped in her tattered cloak, Elara huddled against the cold. Listening to the eerie sounds of the night, the whispering winds, the distant howls of unseen creatures, and the rustling of leaves that carried tales of their own. She clung to memories of her family, to the warmth of their hearth and the laughter that filled their humble home. With the dawn came a renewed determination. Elara knew she had to find her way back, no matter the obstacles. Armed with resolve, she began to explore the terrain once more, methodically searching for any sign of the path she had lost. Days blurred into one another as she navigated treacherous terrain, her senses heightened by necessity. She relied on instinct and observation, learning to read the mountain's subtle cues. A moss-covered rock, the angle of the sun, the direction of the wind. She realized that in her solitude, she had become attuned to the very heart of the mountain itself. During her trials, Elara discovered hidden springs, each one a testament to life's resilience, even in the harshest conditions. She befriended a fox whose clever eyes held a shared understanding of survival and together they braved storms and traversed unforgiving heights. The fox's presence became a reassuring constant, a source of companionship in her solitude. One fateful morning, as the sun painted the horizon with delicate hues, Elara's vigilant eyes caught a glimpse of a distant glinter reflection of light on water, with a mixture of hope. During her trials, Elara discovered hidden springs, each one a testament to life's resilience, even in the harshest conditions. She befriended a fox whose clever eyes held a shared understanding of survival. And together they braved storms and traversed unforgiving heights. The fox's presence became a reassuring constant, a source of companionship in her solitude. One fateful morning, as the sun painted the horizon with delicate hues, Elara's vigilant eyes caught a glimpse of a distant glinter reflection of light on water. With a mixture of hope and disbelief, she realized that she had stumbled upon a familiar stream a landmark she had thought lost forever. Following the stream, Elara navigated her way down the mountain, retracing her steps through valleys and thickets she had traversed in her journey upwards. Every familiar sight was a triumphant reunion, a step closer to home. Finally, after weeks of uncertainty and hardship, Elara stood at the threshold of her village. Tears streamed down her cheeks as she gazed upon the familiar sights. The cozy cottages, the village square, and the towering mountain that had nearly claimed her. She had returned, transformed by her ordeal into someone stronger and more attuned to the world around her. Elara's tale spread like wildfire through the village, a testament to courage and resilience in the face of adversity. The villagers celebrated her return with a feast, their hearts filled with gratitude and wonder. As they gathered around her, Elara shared her story of the lost girl who became one with the mountain's heart and of the lessons she had learned from her journey. In the days that followed, Elara found herself at the mountain's peak once more, gazing out at the vast expanse that had once bewildered her. This time, there was no fog of uncertainty. Her heart was clear and steadfast. 
With a sense of purpose, she extended her hand towards the horizon. Feeling the mountain's pulse and whispering a promise to honor its secrets and protect its beauty. And so, the lost girl's tale became intertwined with the mountain's legacy. A story of discovery, courage, and the unbreakable bond between a determined spirit and the land that had tested her. Ilara, once a wanderer seeking her path, had found it in the most unexpected of places. Within herself and atop the echoes of the mountain's heart. Echoes of the Mountain's Heart is a tale about a young girl named Alara, who gets lost on a mist-covered mountain. Guided by her adventurous spirit, she goes deeper into the mountain, only to lose her way. She endures days of uncertainty and hardship, learning to survive by paying attention to the mountain's cues and befriending a fox. Through determination, she rediscovers her path, returns to her village, and shares her story of courage and resilience. Ilara's bond with the mountain grows stronger, and she promises to protect its beauty.